In this video, we are going to deal with the displacement time graph of a simple harmonic oscillator. Here, the spring mass system acts as a simple harmonic oscillator. So basically, the oscillations are going to take place in y-axis. This is x-axis. So this mass is the one which is oscillating under the effect of two forces. One is the weight, another is the spring force or the restoring force. Now, this is the mean position wherein both the forces are balanced. So by giving a little bit of push on this particular mass, this starts oscillating up and down. So at time is equal to zero, the spring mass system is found here. This is at time is equal to zero. Then it goes up till the extreme position. Then it comes down. Then it still goes down and then it comes up. So when it is at the extreme position at that time, it will have maximum displacement upwards. That is the one fourth oscillation. Then it completes half oscillation and comes to the mean position. Then it finishes three fourth oscillations and goes to the extreme another position. And then finally it comes back to the mean position and completes one oscillation. So like this, one fourth oscillation, half oscillation, three fourth oscillation, one complete oscillation like this. Okay. So after one fourth of the oscillation, the spring mass system is assumed to be here. So this is one fourth of the oscillation. So the time taken to complete one oscillation is the time period capital T. This is one fourth of the oscillation. Now when it reaches again over here, that is half the oscillation. So the time is T by 2. This is three fourth of the oscillation 3 T by 4. So one fourth oscillation here, half oscillation here, then like this 3 fourth oscillation here and like this one complete oscillation again over here. All right. Now this is the mean position. This line, the dotted line itself is the mean position, right? And I'm going to plot the graph of displacement versus time here itself. So this is my y-axis and this itself is going to be my x-axis, which is the time axis. You should always understand one thing that time is an independent quantity. So it has to be always plotted in X axis. Please note that, right? So this is my X axis and I'm going to plot the time in seconds, right? And this is time T is equal to capital T over here. This is time is equal to 3T by 4. Since this is time axis, I'm going to write time over here. Here time is equal to 0. Here time is equal to t by 4, here time is equal to t by 2. So different instances of time are mentioned over here. Now how do we find out displacement? Please understand displacement is always measured from the mean position. Now I am going to consider this point hook to be the main point from which I am going to measure the displacement. So how high is this hook or the entire mass away from the mean position, I'm going to call that as plus a. Why plus a? Because displacement in the upward direction is positive. Displacement in the downward direction is negative because displacement is a vector quantity. So this is the maximum value of the displacement. We call this as amplitude. So on y axis displacement is plus a and the same distance over here is minus a, right? So at this position at time is equal to zero, the spring mass system is at mean position. So that means displacement is zero at time zero. Now at time t by four, displace, displacement is plus a. So the another point is here. Time is equal to t by two. The displacement is zero because the object is at mean position. At time is equal to three t by four, this hook is at minus a distance below or a distance below the principal axis. And we have considered this hook to be here. So basically this minus a should be little bit up. Okay. Then minus a at time 3t by 4 like this and at time is equal to 0 it again reaches at its own mean position which means the displacement is 0. So at time 0 at time t by 2 and at time capital T the displacements are 0 and at t by 4 and 3t by 4 the displacements are maximum in plus and minus direction. Let's join all the points and it will be a sinusoidal graph and that is because the displacement 
which is dependent upon the time is a sinusoidal function sin omega t plus 5. So, basically this is a sine function. So, the displacement time graph has to be a sinusoidal function. One more thing that I will let you know is the phi is the initial phase which you will consider 0 over here that is due to the fact that the oscillations are taking place from the mean position. So, at time is equal to 0 if the spring mass system is at the mean position you take phi 0. In the later upcoming videos I will let you know that what are the different values of phi for the different places of this harmonic oscillator at time 0. So, right now at time 0 since this oscillator is on the mean position you substitute phi 0. Correct. Now, there is an another version of looking at it I will let you know. Suppose <clears throat> these are the points this is point P1 this is point P2 ok this is point P3 this is point P4 and let me take one more point this is P5 this one. Now, if I want to find out the velocity I simply have to draw a tangent. So, this is the tangent this is the tangent here this is the tangent draw the tangent and you will get the instantaneous velocity. Now, look here this is making an angle acute with the x axis. Here also it makes an acute angle with the x axis. So, wherever this tangent is making acute angle less than 90 over there the velocity is positive. So, velocity is positive here also correct and velocity in the upward direction has to be positive. So, if the spring mass system is here it is still going to go up till here that is why upward velocity is so positive. Now, spring mass system stops at the extreme position here this theta is 0 because the tangent itself is aligned to the x axis. So, 0 degree and at extreme position so velocity decreases decreases and stops that is why it will re come back right. It has to revert back that is why the time that is why the velocity is 0 <clears throat> and over here again over here this is the maximum acute angle and here the slope is going to be the maximum and positive that is why here the velocity is maximum here also the velocity is maximum but in negative direction correct ok. Let us take this one here with respect to x axis the angle is obtuse this theta is greater than 90 degree and the slope is negative. So, velocity is negative that means this is going down in the direction of motion there is velocity. Here also you have obtuse angle of the tangent with the x axis greater than 90. So, here still it is going down till here right velocity is negative. Here it is going in the upward direction. So, velocity positive here again if I draw the tangent velocity will be 0. So, what do we note at extreme positions the velocity is 0 and in between with the help of uh, the tangents you can find out the velocity. Now, the most important point some of the students may just draw a triangle straight line like this which is incorrect let me show you. Some of the students may say ok sir I will join this with a straight line and I will get a simple triangle that will be a wrong graph because if velocity time graph sorry if displacement time graph is a straight line which means its slope velocity is constant. Whereas, here the velocity is not constant because in oscillatory motion the velocities are maximum at mean position and they are 0 at the extreme position. So, the velocity keeps on fluctuating. So, you will never have a straight line graph.